I made it to Orange County. Honestly, the drive wasn't too bad this morning at all. First morning that I've woken up at 5 a.m. to drive up here, not bad at all. I still have 25 minutes before class starts. So there's a coffee shop across the street. I'm gonna run in and get myself some more caffeine and then I'm gonna head over to the gym and teach my class. I just finished up class. It was so good. I messed up my nail on one of the barbells. It's so annoying. I'll probably end up going to the nail salon and just having them fix that. But I was helping one of my clients set up hip thrust and I scratched the top of the barbell and I was like, dang, fresh set of nails. Of course I do that. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna head over to the Nike studio that's over here and I'm gonna take a class there. My friend is teaching the 8.30, 9.30, but I, it's 8.37. I was like, I won't be able to make the 8.30, but I will head over there for the 9.30. So I'm gonna go take that class. Finished my coffee from Daydream. Their coffees are so small for like $7. Um, but I needed more caffeine this morning. I could not stop yawning. And I didn't have enough coffee left in here to make it through the class. This one's still warm though. I, pre I prefer my at home coffee over like coffee shop coffee. I mean, this one's like pretty good coffee at Daydream, but I just, I'm so used to my at home coffee and like my little brown sugar and cinnamon. <sighs> Nothing compares. It was a good class though. I feel like energized, ready. I don't know if our room is gonna be ready for next week, so my schedule next week might be a little bit different, but we're just gonna take it day by day and see. Um, I'll probably just teach like a few more classes next week, and then I can't really start like my true work schedule up here until we have our room, just because programming and stuff Programming wise, it's hard when we don't have like the equipment that we know we're supposed to have in the room because we're working off like everything that's available in the open gym right now versus all of the machines that like the owners have purchased and bought to be able to program and work with, which I'm really, really excited for, but we'll see how that all plays out, I guess. He said he'll know by later today. But like the build out for this, I think it was supposed to be done months ago and it's just taken so much time and then it was the 12th and now we don't know if it's gonna be the 12th, but fingers crossed it is because then that would be awesome to start like programming and stuff next week in the new room. But again, we'll see what happens with all of that. I think I need to get myself like a little snacky before I go work out at uh, Nike. <laughs> Okay, that was such a fun workout. That's the first time I've ever been to the Nike studio. Um, it's in Newport and it's basically like a kind of hit training. You go through the room and you do two exercises. There was like, excuse me, six different stations, two exercises at each and then you get like two minute break basically. So like you'll do each exercise two times through and then like a minute break. I sweat a lot more than I was like expecting for that workout, but I feel really good. I'm glad I got my workout in. I'm gonna try to head home before too much traffic hits cause it's already 10.30. I had a meeting at 11.15, but truly I don't think I'm gonna be home in time for that. So I have to reschedule that meeting for next week, but I'm gonna head home before traffic hits. <sighs> It's just been such a good day. So many good things, so many new opportunities. I'm just, I am loving all of this energy. Everything that I'm like attracting this year has just been so surreal for me. I stopped at Costco and Trader Joe's on my way home. This is the only thing that I got from Costco. It's $4.99 for a whole chicken. So I shred that up and then use it in like pasta and like tacos and stuff throughout the week. And then this is everything else that I grabbed at Trader Joe's. I got some shredded cheese. I'll do like mac and cheese this week. And then for tacos, we have some frozen blueberries and cherries for my morning yogurt bowl. I grabbed some more milk for coffees and smoothies. And then wanted to get some wine for the week. This is the other one that I tried. It was really, really good. And then 
I also got some tortillas to do tacos for the week. And I saw this and wanted to try it. I want to quickly thank Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. Warby Parker pretty much has everything that you need. Contacts, eye exams, glasses, and sunglasses. And you can shop with them at home or in store. Their glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. Really amazing deal. And they also have a little try-on kit that you can do at home. You go on their website. You take a quiz based on your answers for that quiz. It personalizes different pairs of glasses for you. So they send over five for you. It's free shipping. And then they have a prepaid label to go ahead and ship them back if you don't end up liking any it's no cost to you everything is totally free and then if you find one that you like you can go back onto their website and search through that and order the glasses that you liked let's go through the five that they sent over for me based on my answers for the at-home quiz this is the first one that we have this pair is the Durand medium and whiskey tortoise I really like these. I think these might be my favorite. I did try all of these on already and I think these might be the winner, but I'll show you guys the other ones that I ordered. I am like a rounded kind of glasses girly, so I loved being able to pick out and like choose my kind of like style with glasses. These are the next ones that we have. These ones are the Baker striped sassafras. These ones have like a little bit of a lighter tortoise shell. I'm also just like a very big tortoise shell girly with all of my glasses. I just love that style. I feel like it kind of just looks the best on me personally. These ones we have Watts Sugar Maple. These ones I think are like a little bit smaller. I don't totally love the fit of these on my face. I feel like the first ones still kind of fit me the best. But honestly, like that's the great thing about this is because you can see glasses online. Like I have been wearing glasses literally since I was in like sixth grade so it's so e easy to see a pair of glasses online and be like oh those look so cute and then you get them in and you're like they don't work for my face shape so it's awesome that they have like the ability for you to try on five different pairs before you spend your hard-earned money on a pair of glasses that like don't end up fitting you or you just don't end up liking the last two that we have are more of like a rectangle style which i'm not totally in love with but these ones are hayden rye tortoise I just don't think the like um, the fit of them I love. I've definitely purchased some glasses in the past that are so uncomfortable to wear on a daily basis. So comfort is key, especially if you're going to be wearing these like every single day. You don't want to get something that's like not comfortable for you. These ones are a little bit more comfortable, but again, they're just like that rectangle style and I'm not like the biggest fan of, but I think if I were to like go for a rectangle style i'd probably pick something like this these ones are the chamberlain and whiskey tortoise but like i said i think we found my winner this is going to be the durand medium whiskey tortoise i think these are the, going to be the ones that i end up purchasing on the website for my new glasses so what do we think? Let me know in the comments down below. You guys can try five pairs of glasses for free at home at warbyparker.com slash Catherine. I will have all of the information for Warby Parker and their website and my link to their website down below for you guys in the description. Make sure you guys go check them out and let me know which glasses you liked best in the comments down below. I've been napping literally since I got home. I don't know. I had like such a bad headache and I was so exhausted by the time I got home. I think I consumed too much caffeine today on like a very empty stomach so that idea won't be doing that again anyways pour myself a glass of wine this is the last little bit of the paso robles uh wine i think i showed you guys in another vlog or i showed it in this vlog yeah i showed it in this vlog i just went through and did a major clean out of skincare products i have not been checking ingredients on skincare products when i've been getting them in and i want to do giveaways for you guys on all of the products so that way they don't go to waste and I get to give back to you guys because I literally only get these products because of you guys so I think I'm going to start doing them more frequently rather than like saving up like a ton of skincare products and then like sending it to one person because I did like a massive um giveaway at the end of the year which I think I will like try to do more often um, but I want to do like smaller giveaways with like a smaller amount of products because I feel like it's also slightly unrealistic to just give like one other person like this mass amounts of products that I also can't use because um, I want to make sure like you guys are able to go through them I also want to give like more people opportunities to like win these giveaways so we just went through and cleared this out so I'll show you guys all the products that I will be 
giving away. I was really sad reading the ingredients because I was allergic to most of these and I was like kind of excited to try them. Um, but they will be going away to one of you guys. I'll be doing the giveaway over on my new TikTok, so make sure you guys are following me over there. But we have this Clarins serum that I unfortunately cannot use as well as the lip oil. We have the Kiehl's products that I just got in a PR package, but unfortunately I cannot use any of them. They all have like something that I'm allergic to. So we have their Midnight Recovery Concentrate, their Creme de Corpse, no idea what that is. And then we have their Butter Mask for Lips, Lawless products. I was so excited for these as well because they're like lip plumping products, but I'm allergic to all of them. So we have Forget the Filler, we have two different sizes of their lip gloss, and then this one's like a, I don't want to open it, but um, I looked it up and it is a like cream lip product. And then more Kiehl's, the cream eye treatment with avocado. Again, can't use that either. And then we have some other products from Coco Kind and from Beekman. I am glad I double checked these Coco Kind products because they sent me like a bunch of different stuff and I had just read like some of them but the two that I can't use are the AHA jelly cleanser and their ceramide barrier serum so I will be giving those away and then this one from Beekman is their daily moisturizer bloom cream I can't use this one either so this is the first little mini giveaway package that I will be doing and honestly I'll just do them like more frequently as I'm getting PR in so that like I know for sure the products aren't expired or anything and they'll get to go to someone else that will be able to use them so I'm gonna do this little giveaway over on TikTok I'll probably film that like tomorrow so by the time you guys see this video I think it should be posted I'm gonna typically do the giveaways like whenever I get like a good amount of products in to like send off in a basket um, and then I'll give you guys like a week to enter the giveaway and I'll make sure that I post about it on my TikTok and my Instagram so make sure you guys are following me over there if you want to be notified when giveaways like this go live.